Hi everybody, time for Shot Clock again. He's Doug, I'm Mark, and Doug, let's talk a little bit about Herm Edwards as we get closer and closer. I know we're still a month out at least to the start of college football training camps. Let's start the clock and talk about it. So you've had some time to, to uh, sit with him over the last few weeks. Um, obviously this is a quiet time for college football. Um, how have things changed in your mind from what you've seen since the day he was hired to today? Well, it's been about six months, Mark, since he was hired. And, and as everyone knows, when ASU made this decision, it wasn't popular among the fan base. The national media had a field day with it. Uh, it was basically because this was a guy that hadn't coached in 10 years. He hadn't coached in college in 30. And the way ASU delivered it and unfolded it with the press conference and the press release, uh, it didn't come off well. But since then, the narrative's kind of changed. And I, I think a lot of that is because of Herm himself. People have had a chance to kind of uh, sit down with him. And not just local media, but there's been a flood of national media members come in. And when you sit down with him, he doesn't have an agenda. I've, you sit down with a lot of college coaches, they talk about what they want to talk about. They push their program, they recruit through the media. Herm's just, here's who I am. Uh, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't try to sell anything. If you like him, great. If not, he'll try to prove you wrong on the field. What do you think that we can expect to see during training camp that might be different from, say, his predecessor? Well, I mean, we saw a little bit of it in spring practice. I mean, it's more of a pro-structured approach, uh, very quiet, and that kind of stems from Herm's influence, uh, working with Tony Dungy. Um, you know, practices didn't go three hours like they have in the past. So I think you'll see a little bit of that. Uh, and also, everyone kind of made a lot about the CEO approach with Herm now, how he was just going to coach the coaches and, you know, kind of maybe stand off to the side. He's not that way. He's actually hands-on involved. So I think you'll see a lot of that. You know, not, not as much changes as people expected. Keep following AZ Central for Doug Haller's coverage of ASU football. Uh, we'll have uh, a series of stories coming out between now and when the team uh, gets going to camp and going to Tonazona. But for now, it's all the time we have. Have a great day, everybody. Yo, Greg Moore here, AZ Central Sports. We're independent and we give you blanket coverage of every team in the Valley. Get the news how you want it, when you want it. Subscribe today.